Good morning, church. It's great to be with you today to talk about the things of Scripture, to hear God's Word, to apply it to our lives, and to understand what it means to live it out every day. Not that we are simply to read and to let it wash over us, but we are to absorb it into ourselves. It is to be deep down in our heart where the Holy Spirit can use it as the daily bread of our lives to nourish our spirits and our bodies so that we can take this, this written word. Let me show it to you because it's so important. We can take this written word and put it here into our hearts and the Holy Spirit within us will use it to transform our lives as his agents, his ambassadors into the world. Paul writes in 2 Corinthians 5 that we are ambassadors of Christ. We stand in his stead before a dying and lost world. And even though the words that we preach, he also says that even though the words we preach are the fragrance of death, the gospel, the good news, is the fragrance of death to a world who rejects Christ. Yet, they need it. Because in their transformation, those who can die to themselves, those who can smell that fragrance of death and say, yes, I must die to myself, and they perish, and they are baptized, identifying with the death of Christ and risen to newness of life, it becomes the fragrance of life, eternal life to those who believe. But it is not the hearers of the word. To whom that applies. It is the doers of it. Let's read in Romans chapter 2 today. Romans is a difficult book. It's a challenging, full of of, uh, difficult theology. It's a great, it's a great theological book about the righteousness of God and how we are to adhere to that righteousness and cling to it for our salvation. But as he writes through it, there's there's concepts that are tough. Let's look at one today. Romans chapter 2, beginning in verse 12. We'll read a couple. All who sin without the law will also perish without the law, and all who sin under the law will be judged by the law. For the hearers of the law, the hearers of the law, are not righteous before God, but the doers of the law will be justified. So, When Gentiles who do not by nature have the law do what the law demands, they are a law to themselves, even though they do not have the law. They show that the work of the law is written on their hearts. Their consciences confirm this. Their competing thoughts either accuse or even excuse them on the day when God judges what people have kept secret. According to my gospel through Christ Jesus, it is the doers. And Paul Paul comments on the law as the doers of the law who will be justified. But we know, and he later argues in Romans, that we have died to the law. The law has been fulfilled, and we are not bound up in it anymore. So the law to which we are bound is not the Levitical or the Mosaic law, but instead the law of Christ. And his law is found throughout the Gospels, in his life, and in his teachings. It's found throughout the epistles that are written later, those letters written to the churches that expound upon and talk about the application of that law. It is the law that we hear preached from the pulpits, that we hear revealed to us in our times of prayer and reflection as we approach God and ask for his guidance. It is his commands to us on how we live And ultimately, his law boils down to love him with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and then to love others as ourselves. That is the law of Christ. We love God with everything we have, and in our love for him, then we press out and we love the world unto death. So, folks... We don't just come to the Bible to hear it. We don't do daily devotions because it's just fun to hear about what God has to say and to think about the applications. This is life-changing material. And I want to encourage you and I want to invite you in to that deeper relationship with Christ wherein you say, no longer am I a hearer only. I am a doer. I do 
that which God commands me, and I do it joyfully in everything that I do, as unto the Lord. So let us not hold back any portion of ourselves. Let us not think that it is our own righteousness that we are presenting, but we submit unto the law of Christ, the word of God made flesh, and we live out our lives to his purposes always. May it be so, now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen.